Hello, welcome to my new video. I was going to show you a cheap scope I bought from eBay a while ago. It's only a 200 kilohertz scope, but it's ideal for Arduino projects and and testing audio signals. It's exactly what I use it for for doing my transmitters, for checking the audio stage. Um, obviously, the transmitting stage, because the um, transmitters I build are UHF. I'll use um, an SDR dongle for checking the signal, but these are all there for, like I say, checking the audio signal. Very good. Problem is, they hand out, but you need to plug an external power supply in, so they're not very portable. You got to plug it in, so you can't be too far from where you plug it in. So I thought. I'll show you a simple mod you can do, they don't cost you much at all but it makes it completely portable I mean there is videos on YouTube showing you how to you know, uh, install a rechargeable but that's all well and good but I'll show you a much quicker way where you don't actually undo the case at all ok, before I show you the little mod these you can pick up on eBay extremely cheap. I, mean, I think these are an absolute bargain. I mean, I paid I think less than twenty, but I've seen them cheaper actually since. Um, I think they've got a nice little display on them, two point four inch display. I mean, a quick look at eBay. I mean, this one's fully assembled. Hopefully that's focused. I mean, look at that, fully assembled. Sixteen pound ninety six. An absolute bargain. Great deal. Yeah, they are very handy. Oh, let's have a look at the mod. Okay. This is what I ordered off eBay. This was 99 pence. It's a 9 volt battery holder because that's the supply it needs. In focus. 9 volts. This uh, So, this is a 9 volt battery holder. Even comes with a hot off switch, which is great. So as you're wearing out the one that comes on the unit. But the great thing about this, there's no soldering. Because it comes with wicked. A 2.1mm plug, which goes straight in. How great is that? What the plan is, I'll attach it to the back of it and I can use it then as a stand as well. So it'll, it'll sort of stand up. Well, it will do when it's uh, glued down. Oh, great, eh? Very simple, very easy. I forgot to mention this does come with the probe as well. I think the one I just showed you for £16.68, whatever it was, I don't think it comes with the 1 to 10 times probe, but mine did. Uh, okay, let's get it prepared. What we'll do, we'll uh, remove the back. Just put that aside. Right. What I'll do, I'll just use a blade just to keep it. The plastic out. You probably don't need to do this, I'm using an heat gun. So it's going to stick well anyway. Just be careful. Got this slip. I've got an heat gun here. Um, I've been using a black stick. I've got transparent, but this is what I've been using at the top. So, put a bit on there, not too much. A little bit on the top there, but I can pull that off afterwards. That's dry pretty quick. Okay, it's dry. That only takes a minute or two. I'll pop the battery in. There we go. That's clipped in nicely. What we'll do, we'll put our lead round. Got a bit of excess wire here, so what we can do, just put a little tie in there, can't we? 
Sådär då. Be careful. I've got scissors on my but There you go. What a simple mod. I think I told you the walls a bit better, but and it stands up bright in it. Let me see if it works. Put it on. There we go. It's on at the bottom now. Right. There we go. Bang on. All good. What I do, I'll show you how to use this. I'll show you what I use it for. My um, my UHF and my um, VHF transmitters. Like I say, I only use it for the audio stage. But for what the cost, you can't go wrong. Look at that nice easy mod eh? right. stands up as well, happy days, ok, I'll show you how to do a quick audio test on my transmitters, every so often, very rare, because components these days are extremely reliable, um, every so often you'll have a full T component, um, and these cheap scopes are ideal, for finding out where the fault is in the circuit and detecting it. Uh, so we'll, we'll set this to the lowest sensitivity, high millivolt. Right, so now I say, let's plug the battery, that'll help. Right, I think this is a transmitter with a working audio side. I'm sure if you can see that. So, what I do, this is on the um, output of the microphone. One, two, testing, and you can see on the scope we're picking a very small single up. One, two, testing, one, two, one, two. All right, so we know the output of the microphone is working just fine after the um, cap. All right, so we'll have a look on the output of the first transistor. One, two, I'll adjust the sensitivity now of the um, scope to 10 millivolt. And as you can see, Picking up a very strong signal. One, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing. So now that audio stage is working fine. Now the output of the second transistor. Oh, let's adjust the arm scope to 15 millivolts. Right, there we go. Very strong signal. And no point one volt, no point two volt. Very strong signal. So we know the audio side of this transmitter is working just fine. Right, now I plug in a transmitter. Let's got no audio. What's up? Let's plug it. Let's um, look. That's it. Where's my frequency counter? So, what's it on? 434.125 megahertz. Just make sure it's this one up. There you go. Alright. 434.125. It's got my scanner. Four, three, four, one, two, five. Now you can see the green lights are, so it's picked up a signal, but turned up full blast, no output. So we know it's got a problem. Now right, let's put the scope back on it. This is the earth. There you go. Let's get the scope in here. Alright. Output half, let's lower the sensitivity of the scope again, so 5, 5 millivolt. 
Okay, port transistor from the microphone, so you can see that has got a signal. One, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing, one, two. Yep. So, right, back to the output of the first transistor. We'll set this to 10 millivolt, was it? One, two, yeah, very strong signal there, you can see it. One, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing, one, two. Yep, great. Now, the third stage. One, two, testing. Yeah, there's hardly any output at all there, look. That, must, that should be a lot, lot higher than that. One, two, one, two, testing, one, two. One, two, testing. One, two, yeah, it's got a very weak signal. So we know we've got a problem with this transistor. One, two, testing, one, two. Yeah. One, two, testing, one, two. What we'll do, I'll stick my phone on. I've got a frequency generator on my phone, but about 406 hertz. Okay, we'll remove that transistor and see if that does the job. Well, this is the transistor in question. That's it, that's removed. that transistor back in well the new one okay should we plug the transmitter in let's put that scope over right so we'll be looking at the bring that over can get that Oh god, sorry if the um you say that. Alright, so we're gonna look at the um, second stage, second transistor. We'll put on 0.1 volts. One, two, oh great signal. One, two, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two. Let's put that on, should we? 0.2 volts. That's the output of the second transistor. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's it. Now that transistor is working as it should. I've got five volt. One two testing one two testing one two testing one two one two testing brilliant as that should be. Let's, let's play this generator again on my phone. Oh yeah, bang up. One oh six hertz, that's showing on the um, scope then, which is exactly right. One oh six. Alright, so that is working fine now, so that's how you let's try this. Yeah, you get feedback now. Sorry if you're wearing headphones. That just shows you really cheap scope like this. Very handy for detecting problems in audio signals. So for the price of them, you can't go wrong. They're great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. In the next video, I'll show you some of the tools. I've acquired a feedback. They're extremely cheap. Look over there. Not my 400 times digital scope. Wait for the mono. You just can't get wrong. It's got power in it. Oh, it has. I mean, this was 20. It was about 28 quid off eBay. If I just pop one of my transmitters underneath it. Oh, there's one of the 
transistors. Here are the resistors. Here are the caps. Great. I think it needs focusing. Let's try the focus for a minute. There you go. Great. Wait for the money. For a bargain. There you go. So you don't need to buy expensive tools. You can actually do electronics. They're very cheap tools. You know, very cheap equipment. Well, see you in the next video.